Hello everybody, it's in there to it here, and we are on iRacing, and I'm going to share a tip with you that I've found over hours of experimentation, and that's about uh, screen tearing and the general fluidity of the game. Now, the only way to get really, truly get rid of vertical desynchronization, which is screen tearing basically, is to turn on vsync or vertical sync, but that introduces input lag, as many of you know. And, um, that's not what you want at all. You want one-to-one -one inputs as much as possible. So, what I do is I limit my frame rate to 118, and I try to keep it there as much as I can, but, um, the reason I do that is because that's the setting that looks the most fluid. It looks like VSync is on, rather than the default of 84, which I will change it to now, which uh, to me looks, it looks juddery. I'm sorry about that. It looks juddery to me. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on the recording. But, let's go take a lap, and see if we, I can already tell the difference, but then again, the recording doesn't really pick up what the monitor displays as much. It picks up direct, uh, direct feed, so, um, to me, the, the objects on the wall, especially, like, that Charlotte symbol that's coming up right there, and... Anything else that's not yellow on the wall, and maybe the grandstands as well, they just look like they're juddering by. It just, it loses the, the general fluidity that you would expect from uh, a, six, a locked 60 FPS. And for some reason, 60 FPS, if you even lock it, if you lock it at 60, it doesn't look good. It just looks terrible. It's got um, screen tearing all over the place. Now, 84... That's what 84 looks like, and to me it's juddery. But I have a 60 hertz display, and I assume most of you do, some of you don't. But, if you do have a 60 hertz display, just try this. I'm pretty sure it's going to make a difference. Uh, just put your frame rate to 118. And you see down at the bottom right, it says 118 FPS. And... I can already notice the difference, even though I don't have a uh, 100 hertz plus display. For some reason, iRacing likes to pick out certain frame rates that it likes to look better on certain displays. I don't understand this, but I've tried it with 60 hertz TVs, various 60 hertz monitors, and every single one looks best on 118. It, it looks like VSync is on to me right now. So, uh, that's what I was going for when I was testing this. And if you look at the wall, the objects, I'm not sure if it, it'll pick up anyway, but to me, the objects are not jettering by. They look fluid. They look like you would want them to. So... That's really what I was trying to tell you is you need to really try it yourself. I can't really show you the difference on screen because it's it's something you have to pick up with your eye. Alright guys, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.